Hello, everybody. How are you all doing? Hopefully, you're doing great. Uh, yes, this is the Epic Games version of the game. Uh, that's kind of what I decided to use that version uh, for was this little series here. It's been fun. I've been enjoying this a lot so far. Yeah, Outdoors Kid, let's get it. Let's get this a big mail. So, uh, since the episode that you guys saw this morning in the uh, video, I've leveled up a little bit. I think I'm up to like level 9 now. And I've got like a decent amount of stuff placed. I've managed to work my way up here, uh, get a couple down here, uh, get a couple tents down here as well. And uh, yeah, we are, let's see, where is it? Level 10. Currently level 10. And uh, why am I not logged into Hunt Club anymore? Or not Hunt Club, but uh, Apex Connect. Um, what? I was linked to it uh, earlier today, that's interesting. Oh well, we'll just have to deal with it, I guess. Not really that big of a deal, but uh, let's uh, see if we can take out some of these stags. Ooh, that's a good mythical. That is a really good mythical there. This has been quite a bit of fun so far, guys. I've been enjoying this series, and we've only just started it. And that was some major lag as I took that shot, but we got it. Yeah, Huddy, it's a pretty good one for me. Uh, when I first started hunting this zone in this uh, playthrough, I had like seven of them here. Uh, there's only been one the last few times, though. Hey, Hunter Gaming, how's it going, man? Good to see you. Also, just a heads up, guys. My allergies are kind of acting up today, so... If I sound uh, a little bit more, like, raspy, that's probably why... Allergies are, uh, kicking my butt today. 211, not bad. Yeah, sometimes it takes a little bit of time for animals to get back to their zones, uh, James. How can you get the Epic Games version for PS4? You can't. Unfortunately, it is only on PC. But if you have a PC and you uh, have access to the Epic Games Store, then you can get the game for free. It's only the base game. All DLC you'll still have to purchase, but you can get the base game for free at least. Lots of nice deer over there. See if we can get a shot into this thing. We don't have the 22 because I don't have that DLC purchased on this account, so we're just going to have to deal with that. All right, we hit it twice. Sweet. Yeah, he's going to go down. There we go. Got him down. But I'm hoping that this stream right here, guys, will kind of show you that even if you have barely any... Uh, What's it called? Um, this kind of shows like a, how you can progress with barely any tents or uh, blinds or stands and uh, still get decent success on the Red Deer grind. So I'm kind of hoping that you guys will be able to see a bit of that in uh, this stream right here. That's kind of why I wanted to stream this series for some of the episodes. Because it is kind of cool to see, like, what I'm able to do with uh, only, like, six tents and then, like, three or four tripods. And then how I kind of work my way up. Where's that last one? I guess it decided not to go this direction. Alright, let's go uh, pick them up after we reload a little bit. Nice, Protein. Hopefully it works for you, man. Nice, Lorna. That's awesome. Hey, DTV. How's it going? Uh, thank you for that uh, fantastic uh, pinned comment right there. Beautiful. And yes, I do have access to the uh, the creator beta this time around, guys. We shall be streaming uh, the brand new reserve all day on uh, the 30th, which is Tuesday. And we're going to do the 24-hour stream that day as well. So it's going to be an action-packed uh, time for us. I'm excited for it. 
Yeah, TTV. <laughs> Is that so? Alright then. Gold Lux is insane. I have five level fives, four diamond. All diamonds are 216 plus. Nice. That's awesome. That is awesome. Oh, another thing that I forgot to mention about this account, if you guys did not see episode one today. Oh, and uh, for anybody watching this after the stream's over, I am doing this uh, episode live. So it, uh, it won't be the same as episode one because we are doing everything live for this one. So for anybody that's watching this after the stream's over, that's uh, why this is a different format than episode one. But uh, as, as I was saying, another thing that's kind of cool is we're only going to be shooting red deer this whole time. I can't shoot anything else because I want to get an accurate count on my stats without having to like uh, keep track of it manually. So we're only going to be shooting red deer and obviously we don't want to shoot anything else because that adds XP and that gives us like just one less red deer to uh, get the uh, great one before hitting level 60. So we want to make the most out of every little bit of XP that we get. Make sure that it's only red deer we're hunting. Gross, who, wants, who watches VODs anyway? Well, since this is like uh, actually going to be episode 2 of the series, people are going to have to if they want to see the progress in between uh, episode 1 and 3. <laughs> Took me forever, but got my diamond links. Took forever, killed like 2,080 male links or more. Oh my gosh. That's a, that's a lot of links. More than I would ever want to kill. I despise hunting links. You're joking. I kind of figured. I kind of figured you were. That's a good seven. Wait till you guys see uh, what episode three is going to be like for uh, this series. I got something pretty interesting last night after I finished episode one. Um, <laughs> I, I'm pretty excited to upload it. I think you guys are going to uh, enjoy it quite a bit. Because we got something pretty cool. But I'm not going to spoil what it was. Because it was uh, pretty awesome. There it is. Let's get this guy down. It takes so long to get used to not having all the perks and stuff. Hey, Christian, I'm doing pretty good, man. Doing pretty good. And uh, since a lot of you guys said that I needed to get the high-tech hunting pack for this series, I did go ahead and purchase it. Since all the DLC is on sale currently for the Epic Games Store, I figured might as well pick up a few of the basic DLCs to kind of help with this grind. Especially since the grind isn't really like limiting us to uh, certain weapons or certain uh, DLCs for this series. We're kind of just seeing what we can uh, do if we can get a great one before 60. Hey Bassmaster, it's been good. It's been good. Hey Johnny, how's it going? Yeah Blitz. Exactly. Oh, that sucks that you're sick, Terry. Honestly, I'm starting to think I might have a cold or something, too. It's probably just allergies for me, though. But I've, I had, like, a tickle in my throat for the last, like, hour and a half. Like, one of those really annoying tickles that just won't go away. It's kind of gone away now. But, uh, it was pretty rough. Okay, there's the small one, I believe. Or is this the seven? Uh, no, I didn't, Cole. I forgot to. I'll have to look it up sometime soon. I keep forgetting to do it. There we go. I mean, already you guys are kind of seeing that even at level 10, you can still pretty efficiently grind red deer with just the starter tents and starter tripods if you dedicate all of them towards it. And I, I'm literally just hunting the uh, Pookie Lakes and then this lake up here for now and this spot. That's all I've been hunting. And we're just kind of going back and forth between all those spots. Eventually, I need to uh, get this one also set up. And then we'll start moving to the river. 
Bassmaster, thank you for the super chat. Much appreciated. Glad to uh, see you here. Hope you're enjoying so far. And uh, thank you once again. Absolute legend. Not sure how, but I get 90 to 110 FPS on Vanguard multiplayer and campaign. Extremely smooth compared to all my other games. Didn't think I'd like it, but here I am. I mean... I mean, Call of Duty is always fun to an extent, so... I, I could see that, definitely. It, it's definitely not going to be uh, something I'll play, though. It, it doesn't look that great to me. At least not as good as I would have expected. Oh, I forgot. I don't have the uh, dogs for this DLC, so I... Or for this account, so... We got to just track it ourselves. The fun way. Nah, Kyla, it's Pookie Lake. It's the Pookie Lake, yo. What do I screen record with? I use OBS. OBS, and then for streaming, I use Streamlabs OBS. Can't wait to use my 454 on the Gators. That will be cool indeed. Gonna do a video or a live on the creator beta? Yeah, of course. Uh, there'll definitely be some videos going live. I'm gonna try and get like a few good videos made. Uh, kind of like covering stuff and then we'll do the 24 hour live stream and it's all gonna be on that map for the most part. Um, I am going to probably play some other games during the 24 hour live stream, but we're gonna play a good majority of uh, that stream on the Mississippi map. Hey, we gotta level up. What do we want here? Okay, zeroing. Let's get the next zeroing one. There we go. Did I shoot two over here? I had two of, right? I think I remember blasting two. Uh, max weight moose is 620. For uh, KGs at least. As far as I know, they're not doing boats, no. Like hockey pook? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I mean, we could just name it a hockey puck lake. We could just call it hockey lakes. I mean, I don't know if it fits, but we could call them hockey lakes. That would be good, maybe. I'm, I'm for sure going to be doing Call of the Wild and then Prehistoric Hunt. Um, probably some Tarkov as well. Maybe some Dead Side. Although, for all I know, we might just do the uh, new map. Because I know at some point KC is going to join us for it. And uh, knowing us, we'll probably just lose track of time. And spend all of our time on it. Which would not surprise me. Right when Beaver has the power to remove outposts. Oh my gosh, please no. Don't make that happen. Don't speak that into an existence, please. <laughs> Don't do it to me. All right, we'll get one more of those and then let's buy a tent. Get one more tent. Beautiful. So now we can set up this like a little bit better. Couple nice sevens here. Level five. Five. Six. Ah, I guess we'll take out the five and the six first. Finally, we got max zeroing distance, too. That's going to be huge. I think you guys are probably already seeing that it's very possible to grind the Great One with limited uh, stuff. Because already we're finding lots of good stags, and we've just started. We, uh... Don't have that many levels. We're very limited on uh, 
tents and tripod stands and we're still able to do quite a bit. Okay, that guy spooked from that shot. So we're gonna let him go for now. Oh, that's unfortunate, Braxton. Uh, yeah, dear hound, it is. One to two. Nice, Siphon, that's awesome. But yeah, level nine mountain lions are pretty common, so just uh, search all the mountain lion lakes in multiplayer and I'm sure you'll find quite a few. 15 within two weeks. Yeah, sounds about right, Kyla. Uh, let's see the zone. Okay, we can definitely shoot this guy. You know, I don't know where it went down. It's uh, somewhere up there, though. It was pretty good, HJ. It was a good Thanksgiving. A really good one. That's so many diamonds, Johnny. 180. <laughs> My gosh. All right, let's see where this one went. It could not have ran far, and yeah, it's right there. Other one should be somewhere. There we go. And there it is. I literally just got the uh, 303 right before I started the stream up, so this is like the second run that I've been able to do with it, I believe. And oh my gosh, it's so much faster than using that 243. As you guys probably saw in episode one, that 243 kills them so slow. So, so slow. So I'm pretty happy that we are actually able to kill them somewhat quick now. Ah, Christian, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Got two Diamond Iberian Mouflon within five minutes. That's crazy, dude. That's not a common thing to happen. Congratulations. That is a uh, pretty sweet accomplishment. It's always very satisfying to get multiple diamonds out of like the same area or really close together. Always a good feeling. Okay, this was probably a single lung for this guy. Yeah, just a single. Will you survive the 24 hours? I don't know. Obviously, if I start feeling like I can't make it, we won't go uh, any further, but I'm gonna try and do the full 24 hours. But if I start feeling like I can't make it, then we will cut it short. Just for my own, like, uh, health. Because it's better to be safe than sorry. Get as much ammo as we can. We still got a couple red deer to claim up here, so we should be fine on, like, uh, time resetting money. Are piebald mule deer rare? Uh, they're supposed to be, but their spawn rate seems to be a bit higher than uh, most rares. They're still a rare, just a pretty common rare to see. When's the 24 hour stream? It's going to be the 30th, this uh, next Tuesday. And I'm probably gonna do it from 12 to 12, so we'll start at um, noon and then end on noon the next day. And that's a uh, Pacific Standard Time, so it'd be like, what, 3 p.m. Eastern? 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I think. I might be wrong there, but I think that's what it is. Schwain Fishing, thank you so much for uh, renewing your membership. Much appreciated, my dude. Welcome back. Looking good with that nice red badge. Did we shoot another over here? I think we did, right? We had to have because there was a six and a five. We only claimed one of those. I think it was the five we claimed. The six should be up here. 
Hey, Connor, how's it going, man? I've been doing pretty well. Feeling a little bit rough with, like, uh, allergies today, but other than that, we're good. Just got, like, a little tickle in my throat. Occasional cough. But I, uh, should be fine. I get hit with allergies quite often, so it's nothing new. Best map for Red Deer? I would say this one right here, Tiawaroa. It's, uh, insane for Red Deer. I've got a full guide on it, too, if you're, uh, interested in taking a look at that. But it truly is, like, the most insane map for Red Deer. You find so many of them so fast here. Nice, Jor. Nice, Deerhound. That's awesome. It's always really satisfying when you find a uh, zone and, like, immediately you have a couple level 9s. It's always a very satisfying feeling. Alright, so we already checked there. We've checked these two. Let's go up to, uh... Ratonui, or whatever it's called. <laughs> I probably butchered that, but you know, it's whatever. Thank you for uh, linking that, uh, Kyla. And I just smacked my mic as I was trying to adjust my uh, sleeve. Eurythrism raccoon. Okay, gotcha. I'll look up that. That's a decent male right there. Got a couple nice males, actually. Actually, three there. That one's definitely way bigger than the others, though. Ooh, that's a good one, too. Jeez, Jor, that's lucky. That's very lucky, because a lot of times for me, those goats troll. Okay, so there's that guy. Let's see if we can get him down first. Nice, we got him. Hopefully that hit good too. Yes, it did. Nice. So we're nailing these shots nicely. Better than I thought we would. Ooh, that poor thing. Dropped on the spot. That six uh, noticed us, but not too big of a deal. Imagine... Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, we did hit it. I was just going to say, imagine we hit that shot, and we did. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. That was a crazy shot. Isn't it always in caps, Kyla? I think I think TDV, TDV's name is always in caps. Hey, Ridgely, how's it going? Yeah, the 454 is a good handgun. Definitely the best handgun in the game. Nice, Marcus. That's awesome. I had some leftover turkey today as well. Made a nice, uh, turkey sandwich out of it. Christian, thank you so much for renewing your membership. Welcome back, my dude. Good to have you. We're, uh, back up to 115 on the member count. Holy. Getting up there. We've been holding, uh, pretty steady around 115 recently. Ah, uh, Sean, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh my gosh. Holy. 
Happy belated Thanksgiving to you and your family, sir. Can't wait to pluck at some raccoons on the new map. Me too, man. I'm excited. And thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I hope your Thanksgiving was awesome as well. Thank you so much. Extremely generous of you. Extremely generous. Turkey for leftovers. Oh yeah, man. It's the best. There's nothing like a good uh, turkey sandwich on the next day after Thanksgiving. And honestly, you really don't even need much with a turkey sandwich to make it good. I just had uh, some Hawaiian bread with some mayonnaise, pepper jack cheese, and then some turkey. That was it. And it was absolutely delicious. That's one of the things I love about turkey is you don't really need too much added to a sandwich to make it amazing. Gonna make turkey lasagna tonight. I know it sounds weird. I mean, anything could be good if it's made right, right? That was a lot of rights. Made right, right? Gosh. How many zones should I hunt on New Zealand? So, I don't really hunt a lot. And I don't really base it off of, like, zone count. I base it off of, like, lake count, I guess. I hunt just these two lakes here. Uh, these two up here. The river right here. And then I hunt this stretch of the river over here on my like a uh, main account and then uh, these lakes up here are also good and then I don't touch any of the other zones and that's just because these are the best zones for me and it's the zones that have like single stags so you got a higher concentration of stags and uh, less hinds so it really just kind of like optimizes the grind most of these spots over here are really good let's go ahead and try to find uh, some more over here are albino wolves rare uh, yes they are rare I mean there's plenty of ways to uh, make the game interesting I have found plenty of ways over the years to uh, make it interesting. What happened? Did I miss it? Ah, uh, yep. Get out of here. Not welcome with that stuff over here. What level? Uh, let's see what level we're currently at. We are currently at level 11. See if anything's back here or if we need to reset the time. There we go, level 6. Uh, level 3, level 6. So, two level 6s and a 3. Yeah, if you haven't seen the uh, video from today, uh, Nurselton, since Epic Games was doing the... Uh, Call the Wild for free for the next week. I decided that with my free account from uh, Epic Games, I would start a series where we basically just try to get a great one red deer before hitting level 60. And so that's what I've been doing ever since last night. It's been fun so far. Okay, somehow that one noticed us. But this guy didn't, so that's good. Gosh, the recoil without recoil perks is rough on the 303. I need to uh, hurry up and work up towards the recoil perks. That'll go down, though. Super tiny male. Uh, no confirmation on anything regarding levels, uh, Marcus. Nice, Nurselton. That's awesome. Sounds like a, a nice, relaxing night. I'll have to go crack one open during the uh, last half of this stream. Nice, Blitz. I have yet to see a level 9 on this uh, series. Knowing my luck, there's probably one somewhere on my map that I just haven't got to yet because I haven't uh, got all the spots unlocked. 
Uh, okay, sweet. We got a skill point. Um, we need to work up towards sight spotting, so... We could do... Guess we'll do that as a throwaway, and then we can get sight spotting as the next one. Sweet. That's gonna be a huge, uh, skill to get. Because with the red deer, it's really beneficial to be able to spot them with the scope, since it's so dark. It's really gonna help with, uh, sh shooting multiple targets out of the same area. <laughs> no problem, Kyla. <laughs> you better go get it. Get it and chug it down. Or don't chug it, you know, enjoy it a little bit. What's the difference between my time and central? I'm not entirely sure. For me, I'm on uh, Pacific Standard Time. I think it's like one or two hours difference between that and central. Not entirely sure, though. I guess we'll uh, see, though. Uh, we're at 12,000, so once we hit 16k, we'll set up a tent here. Yeah, Johnny. I mean, I, I only drink it casually. I don't really uh, drink it uh, too heavily. Just like one with uh, dinner and stuff like that. There is a decent six right there. I can't do the 22 trick because I don't have the 22. So we're just going to have to kind of deal with this. Just kind of hope that did something. Should be one over here. Yeah, there it is. I don't know if we hit the tree or what. Well, let's see if we can fast travel over and get a shot into it. Yeah, exactly, Nurse Lieutenant. Exactly. That's uh, kind of how I see it. Got one of them. There was another, though. Alright, well. I think we just got that one. Oh gosh, Frank, that's not good, man. Hopefully you can work that out, get that coyote out of there. I've uh, had plenty of run-ins with uh, predators growing up since I uh, grew up on a, a chicken farm. Lots of uh, raccoons and minks and weasels and stuff that would always come over and try to attack the chickens. So uh, I kinda, kinda know what you're dealing with. For me, it was never coyotes, but it was like every other predator, pretty much. Did we get two here? Oh, we did! That uh, second shot here actually hit, wow. <laughs> I did not expect that. Hey, Forever Fishing, how's it going, my dude? 16 diamonds, 4 trolls, 2 rares, cheese splits. Getting up there, man. Getting up there. I was at like 25 diamonds by the time my great one showed up. Got a warning call up there. Hey, Rixie, how's it going? I actually put up a guide for uh, getting started in Call of the Wild yesterday, so I would highly recommend checking out that beginner's guide that I put up. It should help you out quite a bit. I kind of go over like all the basic stuff you need to know when you first get into the game, so it should provide you with quite a bit of beneficial info. Definitely recommend checking that out. I think I actually forgot to put it in my guides playlist, though, so I'll need to uh, do that soon. But uh, it should be like the second to last... Or the second most recent video on the channel. Uh, yeah, sure, uh, Rare Helge. 
I don't really have too much yet since this is a brand new account. We've just got some basic stuff set up. If you want to look at my full, like, a uh, normal setup for my main account, I've got a full guide that kind of shows that off. But, uh, for now, this is what we got going. We kind of just have, like, the starter equipment. We've got the tents and tripods that you get from just purchasing those DLCs. And that's basically all we have set up. I think we've only purchased one tent. One sixty-six. All right, so we're at fourteen k. We're almost to another tent. Then we're gonna set that up here. Yeah, for sure, Jor. For sure. Wait, stinky situation. What do you mean? What do you mean, stinky situation? Alright, Blitz. I think I missed the joke. <laughs> I think I missed it, Johnny. That's a decent level 6 there. Not bad. That's a good 7. Come on, go down. What? Are you- how? Was that not a good shot? Ah, oh, it's so bright. That's going down. Probably vertebrae. That's gotta be vertebrae. This is bad as Flinter jokes. <laughs> I don't know, Flinter's jokes are pretty bad. I gotta say. They, uh, they make me cringe and that's- that's saying something because I'm like the dad joke king. Oh my gosh! That is a, uh, piebald. That's a piebald right there. Oh my gosh, that's- that's a nice piebald, too. There we go, that should be good. Nice. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. We got a really good piebald there. That's so cool, guys. Well, this series is already going pretty well. I'm liking it. I know, right, Kyla? It's wild. Like, it's uh, it's crazy. I can't wait to show you guys what I got uh, last night in uh, tomorrow's video because it was kind of crazy. And now we just got this piebald. This is already shaping up to be quite the, uh, <laughs> quite the interesting grind. There it is. There's that piebald. Look at that beauty. Look at that beautiful thing. Oh my gosh, that's a good stag. That's so nice right there. 193.80. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Um, We're going to save harvest instead of taxing because I need the money for tents at the moment. Uh, we'll tax this thing later though. Um, let me try to screenshot. There we go. Actually, hold on. I need to, I need still to, uh, bind that key in Streamlabs OBS. So I need to add a key bind real quick. If they've even got it for Streamlabs. Maybe they don't. Yeah, I guess they don't. Guess there's no uh, screenshotting on Streamlabs OBS, just regular OBS. Oh well, we still have uh, the video of it, I guess. That's a cool stag, though. Really happy with that. Oh, he did at him. Nice. Glad to hear he got it. Glad to hear that he managed to get one.
Okay, we got a six there. And we got ourselves a five there. Uh, let's buy a tent real quick while we can. Um, one more tent, and then we can also get some more money. Or not money, uh, more ammo. 303 British. There we go. This is going pretty well. Hey, Golden, how's it going? The only thing you missed was that uh, pie ball we just picked up. So if you saw that, then you haven't missed anything. Don't think the second shot connected. Uh, maybe, Adam. I don't know. Not sure what I'll be doing. Yeah, you did, Cow Farmer. You joined at a great time. Oh my gosh, Frank, you savage. Hey, Giant Carlo, it was good, man. It was a good Thanksgiving. Went over to uh, my mom's place and we hung out with her and my uh, siblings for the night. It was a fun time. Hey, Josh, how's it going? You just missed a level 7 piebald. Really good looking one, too. We got one of them at least. I think we probably should have got the other one too. Can't really tell though. Nice safe house. I'm glad that you like it. It's definitely been fun. So I definitely recommend that if you're interested in trying it, definitely do it. It's fun. And I mean, you got nothing to lose, right? It's a, a free account. So you might as well use it for little challenges and stuff like that. Is your guide about goose hunting up to date? It should be. Uh, they haven't really changed much with geese recently, so it should be up to date. <laughs> yeah, Kyle, I could see that. I mean, uh, you saw what happened last night for me, so I feel you. Or to kill more reds in 30 minutes than I have in years? Well, maybe that's a sign that you need to go to Tiawaroa. Because I'm doing this all with just the basic stuff. I'm hunting during their drink time, which is 1830 to 2130. And I'm just hunting these lakes here, this little river spot, and uh, these lakes up here. Pretty much anybody can do it. It's a pretty good way to get some red deer. Okay, we need to drop a tent up here. Oh, gotcha, safe house. That's uh, understandable. Well, at least since it's free, you can give it a try, and if it doesn't work, then it's not like uh, it's not like you wasted money on it or anything. Hey, Josh, how's it going? You have not missed too much besides a level seven piebald. So far, that's been the only thing. What map should I get if I'm a beginner? Uh, it really depends on what you're uh, looking for. If you're looking for like a... Like easy map to grind money and XP on, are you looking for a map that comes with a good gun? Like what is your main criteria when choosing a new map? Like what are you looking to get out of it? There is a red deer right there. Anything else? No. All right, so we need to kind of go in this direction anyway, so we'll take this thing out. All right, we hit it twice. 
Sweet. Oh, did I forget to put the tent in? I did. Ah. <laughs> oh, well. Back up here we go. You want a map that looks cool. Okay. Um. I mean, the one that I'm on right now, Tiawaroa, it's a beautiful map. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell right now because I'm hunting at night, but this map is beautiful. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's got a lot of fun species to hunt as well. And then another option, if you want more of like uh, something different from everything else, uh, you could try Rancho Del Arroyo, which is a desert map. That one's a lot of fun too. But I think a lot of people would pick Yukon if they want a map that is just like beautiful. Yukon's the only map that has a dynamic weather system where snow can actually accumulate on the ground and then melt over time. Uh, so I definitely would say that Yukon's probably number one for beauty. A lot of people love Yukon. Yeah, Kyla. <laughs> I mean, I, I love those types of species on maps, so... I don't mind it. I don't mind it one bit. As long as it's not the exact same rabbit or same turkey, then I'm okay with it. I like how they went with like Rio Grande turkeys for Rancho and now they're going with Eastern turkeys for uh, Mississippi. So I definitely like uh, that route better than just recycling the same one like they did with Tiawaroa. Having Merriam's turkey on two maps was eh, not a great move in my opinion. But I don't mind it if they're actually changing them a bit. Uh, the new map will be in uh, Content Creator Early Access starting the 30th. And then uh, December 7th is when it will go live for everybody. I was mowing for a friend Monday and while I was mowing... About to go over a bunch of brown leaves, saw something brown, thought it was a stick or something, but I took a closer look. It was a small snake out in 35 degree weather. I think I remember you mentioning that yesterday. That's wild though. Just a little snake chilling. Hopefully. Oh, it should be, Kyla. It's pretty set in stone. I don't think we're going to get any delays whatsoever. Nice, Sam, I heard about that. He was talking to me earlier and said that he was going to go for a diamond red fox and try to get it before the new map. Good to see that he got it. Alright, we need to go down there and we'll drop a tent in that spot. How much for the new map? It's going to be the same as all the other maps, so $7.99 USD or uh, $7.99 Euro. Um, I'm not sure what it is, Canadian, probably like close to 10 bucks. Yeah, it is $7.99. It is. All platforms except the Switch. Pretty much. <laughs> Same, Snakehead. They are beautiful looking. Nice, God of Ender. Yeah, all the DLCs are on sale right now, for those of you that didn't know. A lot of the DLC is like 60% off on both Epic Games and Steam. It's a great deal if you're looking to get some of the DLCs that you're missing out on. Definitely recommend it. I mean, a lot of the ones like the high-tech hunting pack and like the weapon packs, they're like literally $1.50 right now, which is a, a really good deal because normally they're like, like $4. So you can get them for like $1.50 right now, which is pretty sweet. About as good of a deal as you'll get. Yeah, unfortunately, I think Xbox isn't having a sale at the moment. This is just on PC where they're having a sale. Um, Epic Games and Steam are having sales on DLC at the moment. But from what I remember in the past, I think that once the new map comes out, it should go on sale on consoles as well. That's typically how they do it, is they'll do like a promotional sale. So I guess we'll see. Yeah, 
Yeah, probably a good idea, Kyla. Just get all the basic stuff, like the tents and things like that. And that's what I did for this account. I just bought the tents, I bought the tripod, and then a high-tech hunting pack, and Tiawaroa. And just kind of called it there. I believe this is where we need to have this, like, right here. Yeah, that's good. That, that seems pretty good right there. And then we can just use the ground blind for this spot. Don't even need a tripod for this location because it's pretty flat. Gotta work with what we got, you know? Kind of limited on cash, so we shall just uh, deal with what we have. And actually, I can keep that on me. We shall keep that on us. I've only been keeping the gun that I'm going to use on me because I'd rather just have the extra space right now since, I mean, we're only hunting red deer on this account, so it's not really that big of a deal. Oh, you're talking about classic. Ugh. Well then. When you said classic, I thought you meant like the OG DLCs for Call of the Wild. I thought you meant like the, the first ones they added, like tents. You just happened to say tent right after it, and I was like, oh yeah, tents was the first DLC, wasn't it? My bad. Alright, I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna crack the window open real quickly, kind of let some air in here so it can cool down. This PC is like cooking me right now. All right, we're good. Mission accomplished. Hey, Charles, I'm doing good. Nice, Owen. Ah, uh, yes, Swain. Uh, alligators are confirmed in the new map. We will be able to hunt gators finally. Ooh, we got some good red deer at this lake. Happy we finally got a tent set up here because this is going to be a pretty good one to go to. We got three of them right here that we can just blast real quick. Got two of them. Third one's going to get away, sadly. Not bad, though. I'll take two. Oh, sorry, Josh. <laughs> nice, Manny. Hopefully it works out for you, man. If you're ever uh, questioning, like, what you should do, you can always go back and check the uh, Great One Red Deer Grinding Guy that I have for Tiawaroa. Pretty much got everything you'd want to know in that video. Okay, I think we only had those three here. You thought you saw the M1 in my hands? Nah, I don't have any of the weapon packs on this account. Just the 303 for this one. Easy way to uh, get what? Yeah, go for it, Neil.
Oh, come back here. Come back here. Ah, ran out of breath. Tried to get a second shot, but just immediately ran out of breath and my scope just shot straight up. Um, so basically what you'll do, James, is if you hunt other areas, eventually these will come back. Um, what I've found is that you will have zones that disappear from these, like, single stag zones, where it's just stags and no hinds. They will disappear, but if you start hunting, like, these lakes and these lakes up here, then this, this area will get some eventually. It kind of, it's kind of like the locations alternate the stag spawns. Since, uh, technically any time you kill all of the stags out of a zone, that zone gets deleted because they were the only one occupying it. Most of those zones, what it is, is actually five single stags creating five separate zones. And so every time you kill a, a stag, it's basically deleting that herd. And so if you get rid of all of them, there's nothing left for that uh, need zone, but they will come back. Just hunt some of the other lakes for a little bit and you should see the other spots repopulate. Luckily with the, the red deer grind, you don't typically have to worry too much about losing zones. They'll pretty much always come back with these single stag ones. Well, I was hoping that one would come out a little bit better. Didn't want to though. 199, not bad. This one should die, right? I think so. How should you hunt with no tripods and tents? Um, pretty much the same way you would hunt with tripods and tents. The only difference is you're not going to want to shoot too many over one spot because you want to be mindful of hunting pressure. Uh, just alternate your legs quite a bit. Make sure you hunt all of them equally. That way the hunting pressure spreads out and doesn't get too accumulated over one spot. That's kind of how I would go about it, at least. Yeah, that wind is not being kind. That's a different one, too. That's not the one we shot earlier. That one had to have died, though. Yeah, I'm currently using the 303. I find it to be one of the better red deer guns to use. Because it's got a little bit more uh, expansion than the 30 6 so it kills them slightly faster. Where did this thing get off to? This thing ran for ages. We must have hit too far back. Or just a bit too forward. What do you think about the 7.62? It's okay. It's uh, not my favorite gun, but I think with this new map coming out, it might get some more use for me just because of its uh, class range, but I guess we'll see. But uh, currently, it's not my first choice for uh, lower classes. Okay, if we don't find this thing soon, I'm just going to assume it's not dead. Yeah, it's probably not dead. Not worth chasing after. Glad you like it, Shwain. I'm assuming you've been doing the same method then? Glad it's uh, been working out for you. That was the main reason that I did it was because I was losing a lot of uh, bucks in some of my favorite zones. So I figured, I mean, if I'm constantly deleting the zone, I can't really like lose bucks in them, right? Because I'll be constantly getting new herds. And sure enough, it worked out that way. Uh, not a good hit. Oh my gosh, the recoil control is so difficult without perks. <laughs> is it a known bug on PlayStation that when you go into multiplayer menu, all the server times say zero? Yeah, that is uh, that is a known bug. 
Uh, to be honest, I, I don't know what causes that. They haven't really spoke too much on it because it's not like a, a too much of a pressing issue, you know? There's a lot more bugs that they've got prioritized above that as far as I know. But yes, they do know about it. Yeah, Josh, for sure, man. I'm really excited to uh, get to explore the map with you guys. I cannot wait till the 24 hour stream. It's going to be wild. Yeah, no problem, Neil. No problem, my dude. That poor thing got absolutely butchered. Is it really just one over there? I think it might be. Yeah, I don't see any others. Hopefully that'll take him down. Oh, you do, Johnny? Oof. Why do you gotta stay up all night? Or are you talking about for the 24? I'm guessing you're talking about the 24 hour. It's gonna be wild. I hope I make it through the whole thing. But I really don't know. I guess it'll also partially depend on whether or not Aaliyah decides to let me stay up all night. If she keeps waking up too much, then I'll probably have to cut it short. But I uh, hope she typically sleeps through me recording and streaming, so I think we should be okay. That guy definitely did not die, so we'll come back to that later. Yeah, I'm not sure, Kyla. Not sure. I, I don't know what they do for uh, console testing. Also, guys, let's take a look at the codex real quick, show you guys my stats. So, I started playing last night. Before this stream, I'd say I've played like five or six hours on this account. We're currently at 92 Red Deer Harvest. With 84% accuracy. Not too bad at all. I'm pretty happy with it. And we've got 32 golds, 48 silvers, 11 bronze. We're uh, doing pretty good so far. Well, we already know for a fact they are bringing in the uh, FPS fix with this update. Because that's already been talked about. They've already been confirming that for a while. So we know the FPS fix is coming in. But uh, yeah, the question is, will it fix it enough? I'm sure it'll definitely fix it at least some. Question is, does it fix it completely or just a little bit? Zero diamonds lame, I know, right? Nailed him. But honestly, I'd say 92 Red Deer in like uh, six hours or so on a fresh account with like no tents or anything isn't too bad. I'm happy with uh, how things have been going so far. Six seconds behind. Oh my gosh. I think it might be the end of the world. That, that's too much. What are you even doing anymore, Kyla? Full six seconds behind. Unforgivable. Yeah, they do like to hide behind the trees quite often. How do I go to the Whitetail Zones at the top of Bosque Alto Lake? Um, I've got a tent kind of near them. Uh, it's, it's hard to explain without showing. So I probably won't be able to show you uh, exactly. But I, I do have a tent, like, up in that area. 
I don't remember if I included it in my most recent Rancho Guide. Hey, Trappers, I've been doing good, man. There we go, level six right there. Probably spine, but hopefully not. We can maybe get this one. Hopefully that worked. I think it probably did. It looked like we were holding right. What's the best spot for turkey on SRP? Uh, to be honest, like the whole map, for real. Like the whole map is good for turkeys. Um, but I especially like some of the lakes like in the middle and the left side of the map. Uh, to be honest, I don't really hunt turkeys that often, so that's about as far as my like uh, tips and knowledge go for it. There's this little dude. This was the one that was kind of behind the tree. Eh, not bad. Vertebra vertebrae lung. I'll take it. And we leveled up. Uh, so that's a perk point. We could get sprint and load. That would be pretty good. Or we could start going towards a more breath control. Or we could work towards recoil management and fast shouldering. Um... I think we'll get sprint and load because this kind of annoys me not being able to run and reload at the same time. Yeah, I did, Dalton. I did here. Tickle season. Wait, what do you mean tickle season? Oh, you meant rifle season. Oh, that's funny. It's tickle season again. Tickle season just reminds me of like allergy season because you get a tickle in your throat. That That's what that reminded me of. It's tickle season. Why don't I use the night vision scope? Because it's too low a zoom. I don't like having only 4x zoom. And I've got a uh, good enough without it that I don't really need it that much. I've done so much practicing with the normal scopes that I honestly feel like I'd be worse with the night scope. Nice, that one guy. Gonna tickle the deer to death, yes. That is the way to do it. The deer don't see it coming, you know. Yeah, sprint and load for sure. It's it's a good perk to go with. I figured that that's probably what we need at this point. Because uh, the more time we take just like slow walking while reloading, that's wasted time that we could be sprinting towards our kill. So yeah, definitely, definitely going to go with that one for now. Where do we shoot this thing? Right here, huh? Oh yeah, there it is. Perfect. Hopefully it didn't run too far. Thank you, Brayden. I'm glad you enjoy them. I try to make them enjoyable to watch. Jeez, this thing ran farther than I expected it to. Ah. Uh, I don't know. I kind of I kind of like Wraith a little bit better. Just pro probably just because that's the name that you used to have that I'm used to seeing. I'd, I'd say go back to Wraith. But I mean, it's really up to you at the end of the day. Oh my gosh, Christian, that's hilarious. 
Or maybe, maybe tickling season is the other way around. Maybe the deer climb up behind you in the trees and tickle you while you're in your stand, making you laugh, alerting all the other deer in the area to your presence. That might be what it actually is. Now that I've thought into it a little bit deeper. Hey, Captain, how's it going? Just got Call of the Wild today, like I'm with you sometime. I do jump into multiplayer quite often during live streams, so if you ever see me in multiplayer while I'm streaming, feel free to jump into the same sessions. I don't really hunt with people individually because if I hunt with one person, then everybody else is going to want to hunt with me as well. So I, I do try not to do like a solo hunts with people, but uh, if I'm in multiplayer, feel free to join in. Always fun to hunt with uh, everybody in the multiplayer sessions. Not level 60 yet? No, I have a uh, second account. On my main account, I am level 60, but this is the Epic Games version of the game, so uh, I decided that since it was a free account, since Epic Games is giving Call of the Wild out free for the next week, I figured it would be kind of cool to do a little bit of a series on this account and do something special and interesting that nobody's really done before. Because as far as I know, nobody's done a series like this before. Nobody's tried to get a great one before hitting level 60 as a uh, YouTube series. So I thought it might be pretty fun. A turkey tickling you? Probably. Or a squirrel. Squirrel drops out of the tree and tickles you so the deer hear you. Those evil squirrels, man. <laughs> wow, Kyla. That's just savage and rude. Block about 50 turkeys flew right past my window. It was crazy. Jeez, man. That's wild. We've got some turkeys around uh, our place, too. Not quite uh, that many, but I do see turkeys every once in a while around here. Never seen them out while I'm hunting, though. Where did we hit him? Okay, so it's further over here. Is this all his tracks? Uh, no, there is other tracks. Okay, sweet. So, where is this other one? We missed one of them. It's apparently the one that we just picked up the track from. It must have been one that we wounded and then just never claimed. Um, I might need to do a quick game restart just so we can get those to uh, despawn because I'm sure I've got a few that I forgot to pick up. And they're holding up spawns if we haven't claimed them. Uh, I'm from Oregon, uh, Braden. Right, we're up to 16k cash again. We can get uh, some more tents if we want to. Or one more tent. And we definitely will do that. It's exactly what we need. Alright, let's uh, restart, or not restart, but go to the main menu. For those of you that don't know, you don't actually have to restart your game to get the animals to, like, uh, disappear if you have a few that you forgot to claim that are holding up spawns. You just have to go to the main menu, then you can just continue and you're good to go. And I crashed. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. <laughs> Well, that would be my luck. Um, relaunch that and hope it doesn't crash again. Good to go, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're uh, we're good to go. <laughs> Is there a big deer up there? Um, I mean, not big. I mean, blacktail are kind of small deer in general. Um, there's some big mule deer at, at places. And there are some decent uh, black tailed deer in parts of Oregon as well. Not really much white tail here, though. I don't think there's any place in Oregon where you can actually hunt white tail because they're endangered here. 
Oh, there we go. It actually logged me into a hunt club this time. Or not hunt club, uh, what's it called? Apex Connect. That's the one. Now I can actually get my little, uh, ghillie suit on. Yeah, there we go. Now we're looking good. Actually, can we carry both? We can. Sweet. Perfect. Do you hunt much in real life? I do sometimes. I haven't been able to the last few years. Uh, for a while, I was pretty into it. Didn't really ever have much luck because I knew, like, nothing about it at the time I was hunting. And uh, the few times that I did run into deer, it was just really unlucky circumstances where I couldn't take the shot for one reason or another. So, uh, yeah, I do hunt, but haven't had too much success. Already forgot what's diamond for Ibex. Uh, which Ibex? Because there's four of them. And each of them has a different diamond score. I don't know, Johnny. Hard to say, man. Hard to say. Oh, gosh. It's so bright. Why? Just why? Should be good. Where's those sevens? There was a good seven over here. At least one. And I don't see it. Just gonna have to go for that five, I guess. That is three down, though. Nice, Wraith. Nice, dude. Just like turning off the... Just like turning the bait off and getting better spawns. Oh, gosh. I remember that. I remember there was a lot of people that said that didn't do anything, but I know for a fact it did. I noticed so much, so much better stuff showing up after I turned it off. However, with Apex Connect, it doesn't seem that it does that. Because I, I haven't been able to do Apex Connect on my, uh, my main account, and I ended up getting the great one at 3k and had tons of diamonds and rares on the way. Uh, no, it doesn't anymore, Tanner. That was fixed uh, just a few days after it happened, actually. I guess I probably should mention that again since not everybody knows that, but because there wasn't, like, an update, a lot of people don't realize the Dead Great One bug is fixed. They, up they fixed it through Apex Connect, so you didn't actually have to download a patch. They just fixed something on the back end through Apex Connect, and uh, that made it so the Dead Great Ones weren't showing up anymore. Nice, that one guy. Should make a feature where you can sell your weapons and equipment because it just gets way too crowded in your inventory after a bit. Yeah, that would be nice. I would be 100% down for that. Because I agree, it does get pretty cluttered. I've definitely got a few things that I would sell. <laughs> 223. <laughs> Got to get rid of that 223. <laughs> I never use it, so. Hey, Burdette, how's it going? It's been pretty good. We got a big level 7 pie bulb. And we've been uh, taking down quite a few red deer, just trying to get money for more tents. It's been a lot of fun. I don't know if you uh, saw the video from today, but we basically started a series where... Uh, since Epic Games was giving out a free account for Call of the Wild to everybody that claims it within the next week, I decided to use mine for, like, a trying to get a great one before level 60 series. So that's what we've been doing. Trying to get a great one to show up before we hit level 60. No organs hit. That's unfortunate. <laughs> 
That was the second one that we had to aim a bit far up on. Or far forward. <laughs> True, Johnny. <laughs> True. Okay, I guess that is right. Those class ones don't stand a chance. Alright, calm down, Mr. Red Deer. I'm gonna need you to stop moving. Gonna need you to stop moving and just accept your fate. There. Good, Red Deer. Um, can place this like right here. There. Perfect. That's gonna be a good place to have a tent. Oh, it's so nice to be able to reload while running. Oh, I forgot how, like, nice some of these perks are when you first get them. So good. I keep forgetting I don't have a dog to, uh, claim stuff, or, I mean, to track stuff. Yeah, that would be nice, Johnny. I mean, at least the uh, 22 Hornet's gonna be able to shoot them since it's a 1 to 2 class gun. That'll be fun. Hopefully, it's good. Killing turkeys with anything other than a shotgun is a sin where I am. <laughs> yeah, I remember when uh, turkeys first released on Call of the Wild, everybody was complaining that I killed my first diamond one with a 22. <laughs> oh, man. Good times. <laughs> but I understand it because in real life you use shotguns or bows typically. So I can kind of understand uh, why people were hoping that that's how Call of the Wild would be. Oh my gosh, there's so many stags! <laughs> this is more stags than I have on my main map for this location. Or my main account, I should say. Not main map. I don't think so, Kyla. Unless I missed something. I mean, maybe she did. I don't believe so, though. I know she had the uh, dead one a while back, but I don't think she's had one show up since then, sadly. What guns do I run? Well, currently I'm just using the 303. Uh, that's just because it's all I've really got on uh, this playthrough. But when it's my normal runs on my main account, I would use the 300 Magnum. Uh, it doesn't pass the harvest check, but it kills them really fast, so that's why I use it. It just kind of speeds up the grind. But if you want to get full score on your animals, then use the 303 or the M1. Those are my top two picks for uh, weapons that are actually for class 6 animals. Twenty one hundred kills into my white tail great one grind. I want to get the great one before the new map. Hopefully I'll get a great one on the new map the first day. Yeah, hopefully, Cole. Hopefully. I'm really excited to see like how the white tail work on the map. Gonna be interesting. Uh Red Deer's class six. Sadly. I wish it was class seven. Alright, let's see. Looks like they both went down over here. Uh, that one I think we dropped actually. That's nice. At least we don't have to chase this guy down. The other one we will have to chase though. Yeah, we got vertebrae and lungs. That explains it. Very low. 
That's, uh, that's unfortunate. Not vitals at all. Uh, this one is good, though. What direction did it run? I am lost as to where this thing could have gone. There's like nothing around this track. Oh, I should also change my track color. Let's do cyan for the inactive track and then active track will go with, uh, let's go with orange. That should show up pretty well. Oh yeah, that looks good. That shows up way better. I swear, did it? Okay, no, that's a walking track, we're good. Where is the next track for this thing? Nice, River Monsters, that's awesome, dude. Wish I could find myself one of those. Oh yeah, that would be cool, Manny. That would be cool if they made it so you could purchase, like, uh, more advanced lights. That would be kind of nice. Because this one does get kind of weak for sure. Or maybe, like, different kinds of light as well. Like, uh, maybe an LED light instead of this just regular one that we have. I, I don't even know what it's called, but it'd be nice if they gave us options like LED and then, uh, like, some really high lumen ones. They just give us like a handheld spotlight. One of the ones that actually has like a fan to cool it down. <laughs> oh my gosh. They could have fun with some stuff like that. We got liver on that. Okay, that's interesting. Did not see that coming. Don't even need to think about it, bro. What's the recommended first weapon to buy? Um, if you don't have any DLC, First weapon I would work towards is the 7mm. It's such a good rifle. If you don't have any DLC, I highly recommend going for the 7mm. It will uh, make your life so much easier. I just ran out of breath right as I took that shot, I think. It went way higher than I wanted it to. Uh, giving us difficulty trying to see. Yeah, it did go high, I think. I think that would have hit it, though. We might have saved that. What's better, waffles or pancakes? I like waffles better. However, um, there's this, like, um... I don't know if you guys have had it before or like how widespread it is. I think the Jiffy company is pretty, uh, pretty widespread across the U.S., right? But, um, I think it's Jiffy at least. It's like these little muffin mixes. They're like, uh, like an apple cinnamon muffin mix. And you can actually use them as a pancake batter as well. And that stuff is good. Like that is the best pancakes I've ever had. So, so good. Lots of stags out right now. Well, that didn't go well. <laughs> Come back here. Stay down. You silly red deer, you. There we go. Nice solid hit on that guy. 250 away. One shot. Can we make it happen? Maybe. Oh, we might have pulled left too much. No, we're good. Okay, sweet. So, two down, one wounded. 
Then we got this good seven over here. Let's reload real quick and take this out. I haven't bought anything yet, Kyla. Uh, Bree went to the store earlier today, I believe. So she's going to look for some uh, Black Friday stuff and see if she can find any good deals. But I pretty much just woke up and immediately got to uh, working on Call of the Wild stuff. So I have not had a chance to go check out any Black Friday deals or anything like that, sadly. Yeah, I heard that, uh, Hunter. I heard that he finally got one. Good to, uh, hear that he did. Ooh, that would be interesting, Cole. That would definitely be cool. I'm curious how they will do them. Name a bad breakfast? I don't really think there is any. Hmm, you're right. It's a, it's not easy to name a bad breakfast, that's for sure. Okay, so that's double flesh hits. That must have been that one that we uh, shot when it was running away. Middle neck on that guy. Ugh, that poor thing. That poor little dude. Only 77, that's not bad at all, Kyla. That is not bad. Ah, it's funny, Milan. <laughs> when I play multiplayer with my friend, his ping is skyrocketing even though we live close to each other. Hmm. I mean, that could also be based off of, like, one of your internet. Uh, whether it's yours or his. And typically that would mean that somebody's internet isn't super strong, so they're having trouble getting a, st a steady connection to the server. Or a stable connection, I should say. Miss that second shot, sadly. Ah, hopefully we got some of those good. That one's not good. Uh, that guy's just chilling there. I mean, at least he's staying there for us. Gotta love it when they bug out like that. Gives us an easy kill. That did not go as smoothly as I wanted it to. Oh man. There's another one there. Small level 4 male. Small male. It's the dirt. Do a quick reload. Hey, Hunter 17, so far today we got a piebald level 7. Just hoping to see that big male pop out. Okay, it's 2115. These have started moving then. Uh, let's fast travel over here and try to smoke a couple as they leave. I think we should be good. Favorite kind of pizza? Hmm. There's a lot of them that I like. Did I even hit him? I don't think I even hit him. Nope, I don't think I did. And I'm typing randomly now. Uh, because I don't have the higher powered scope yet, uh, Dantif, we're doing a challenge where I'm on a brand new account. And we're uh, trying to get a great one red deer before hitting level 60. I don't have the uh, Argus scope yet. Currently only have the Hyperion. 
Nothing here. Didn't get a hit on it. Hey, Zane, how's it going? Oh yeah, I've done that before to uh, Milan. When I was playing Classic a lot, I was doing the exact same thing when I came back to Call of the Wild. Always threw me off. I know some people that rebind their uh, keys to kind of mimic Classic a little bit. Doing pretty good, Zane. Been having a good day. Yeah, me too, Wraith. In a lot of scenarios, I do prefer it. However, red deer hunting is a bit different for me. Uh, if I'm like whitetail grinding, I use the Hyperion a lot. Um, if I am doing red deer grinding, I use the Argus because with red deer, they're not really that close together, so I don't need to. Uh, I don't need to do follow-up shots as often. So the extra zoom doesn't really affect me too much with Red Deer. Because they're usually spaced pretty decently apart. Nice, we nailed that one. That's kind of surprising. Doesn't even have all scopes, I know, right? What a noob. This Scarecrow guy's a noob. Doing pretty good, Benjamin. Having a decent day besides, uh... Allergies, uh, acting up. Grab this little dude here. And then this one looks like it got hit twice. Maybe thrice. Oh, this is the one that we shot like three times because it froze. That makes sense. I uh, know the brown hybrid geese are not too uh, rare to find. Okay, can we do it? Oh my gosh, we can. Sight spotting. Yes, let's go, guys. We got sight spotting. That is huge. That is going to be such a big help to us from now on. Oh my gosh, that was nice. That is so nice to get. Let's go grab this one over here, and uh, we almost have enough money for another tent. Although the question is, do we want to get another tent first, or should we go for a tripod stand instead? Not quite sure. I'm thinking tent just so we can get our tent set up first. I need to put one over here so we can claim uh, those red deer quicker. As of now, zero diamonds on this account, but... We haven't been going for too long, so I hope we'll get some soon. I think we're only like 100 kills in, and I haven't even checked all my zones, so... Uh, that's not good. Where is this guy? Or at least where's his other tracks? Yeah, I don't see anything. That's odd. Didn't he die, like, right down here? Or am I tracking a different one? I might be tracking a different one. Might be one that we shot earlier. Uh, creators will be able to, uh, stream and show footage of the new map the 30th, uh, Sean. The 30th will be able to uh, reveal everything to everyone. It's going to be a good time. What's the fastest way to make money? Uh, to be honest, if you don't have the Goose DLC, I really think the Tiawaroa Red Deer is one of the best ways. I mean, look at that. 1,500 cash. It's kind of crazy. After the EW stream, right? Yeah, that's typically how they do it. That's typically the way they go. As you guys can probably uh, tell, Aaliyah's home now. 
Bree and Aaliyah just got home. I turned around to say hi to her and she got happy. Oh, you work that day? That's unfortunate, Snakehead. Well, I plan to do a 24 hour stream on that day, so I'm sure you'll be able to make it to part of it. Okay, like one or two more red deer and we'll be able to get the next uh, tent. Pterodactyl, yep, a little baby pterodactyl. Uh, but where was I? Oh yeah, another good way to make money is a Tiawaroa fallow deer. They're pretty sweet. So Tiawaroa red deer and fallow deer are both great ways to make money. Um, just going to Silverage Peaks and shooting everything in sight is also a pretty good way. Uh, but geese are definitely the best. Uh, the only downside is it requires the goose DLC. But with all these other methods, you can just play multiplayer if you don't own the map, but with the geese, you have to own the DLC in order to really hunt them effectively. It really does, Johnny. It really does. I don't know, Johnny. <laughs> Who knows? Hard to say. I probably will be a snakehead. I'm planning on starting the stream at around uh, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the 30th and then ending the stream December 1st at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So it's going to be a wild one. Uh, provided I can make it through the whole thing. Like I said, if uh, if it's keeping Leah or Bree from being able to sleep, then I'll have to cut it short. And uh, also, if uh, if I start feeling not great, then we'll cut it short. Sean coming in with another super chat. My gosh, man. All of the amazing support. My gosh. <laughs> Can't wait to see it. Gonna squeak this in before the stream ends this time. Rearranging my house, so I've been popping in here and there. When I take a break, good luck and have a good night. Same to you, man. Hope you have an awesome night. Really appreciate all the massive support, man. Like for real, it's uh, it's honestly kind of insane. Thank you, thank you so much. You know, uh, let me actually give you the legendary supporter role on uh, the Discord because I believe you've earned it at this point. You've definitely passed the threshold for being a legendary supporter. You are a spiral upward in Discord, right? If I'm not mistaken. There. I gave you the uh, legendary supporter role. Alright, let's see what we got over here. Small level 6 male. We're getting low on ammo. Go down! <laughs> uh, maybe it'll go down eventually. <laughs> that poor thing just got absolutely slaughtered. Hey, Mr. Yeast, how's it going? Good to see you. Oh my gosh, Christian, that's hilarious. <laughs> ah, that's great. Oh yeah, for sure, Maddox. It's a great DLC. And like, e even if you're looking past like the uh, the money and the XP that you get from it, it's also just a lot of fun. And the rare geese look really good. What keybind is zoom? So it should be the middle mouse. You just uh, scroll up and down on the middle mouse button. And that will zoom in and out. And then if you're talking about like zooming in like ADSing, then it's right click will uh, make you bring up your scope. 
it is, cow farmer. Well, you better not hope a bear attacks you and then you have to wrestle it. Uh, that would be quite unfortunate. Yeah, no problem, Sean. No problem. It's the least I can do. Nice, Wraith. That's awesome, man. Super awesome. Okay, this Red Deer died. I kind of figured it would. We put three shots into it. Ooh, rip safe house. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's definitely not going to be easy to try. Hey, Scarebro96, how's it going? Glad you could make it. Alright, moment of truth. Were any of these vitals? No. Non-vital, non-vital, non-vital. I mean, at least I'm consistent, right? Three non-vital hits. Most of my diamonds are geese. I also got a diamond brown hybrid goose. Ooh, I really want one of those, man. I've been trying to get like a diamond uncommon or a diamond rare for the geese for a long time. Have not got one, sadly. I did recently get a pretty big uh, light gray leucistic, though. So eventually that'll make it into a video. I've got like so much clips just like backed up right now. I don't know what videos to put them all in. Like I've, I've got easily like... 30 or 40 different red deer that still need to go into videos from the grind um, Like 10 plus diamonds actually not quite 10 plus. I think it's like Five or six diamonds that still need to go into videos, and then I've got like 20 trolls that need to go into videos and Then like five or six rares and Then I've got a bunch of other like random diamonds and rares that we got from before the red deer grind I've just got so much uh, clips that have just got backed up because of like a uh, other series on the channel Make an ultimate vid. I've been thinking about doing it. Um, I'm for sure gonna put all the trolls and rares into one video because I figure Nobody wants to watch a video. That's just trolls. So I might as well chuck the rares in there as well And then I'll do a video of all of my diamond red deer that I have left that haven't been in videos and uh, then I'll probably do a third video that's just like all of the other random diamonds and rares from other maps. We should probably reload. That would probably be good. Hey, Mel, how's it going? Ooh, you just got your great one. Nice, that's awesome. Uh, Quattro, yeah. Was it Cro was it Quattro or did you get it on uh, Tiabaroa? It's so nice to have sight spotting. It's such a beautiful thing. Definitely one of the best perks to get for uh, red deer grinding. On Hirsch. <laughs> Quattro 268.50. Nice. That's awesome. Congratulations, Mel. About time you found your live one. Especially after all that grinding. And uh, I heard you got yourself a nice uh, fox, KC. Nice. There, get like 50 rounds real quick. So far on this account that we've been doing, we've got, uh, we got two rares so far. Uh, the uh, first rare I haven't shown you guys yet, but, uh, it will be shown in a video tomorrow. And then, uh... We got ourselves a piebald today, level 7, pretty nice one, and uh, so far that's what I've got out of 111 kills. So not too bad, two rares and 111 kills is pretty good, I'm pretty happy with that. Where did this one run to? Sadly I'm not able to grind quite as fast because I don't have the same uh, amount of equipment, but uh... We're doing pretty good for what we got, I'd say. We're only hunting like five different locations. And we've got 111 red deer kills within seven hours of gameplay. Not bad, I'll take it. It's gonna start going up higher and higher though, the more tents and uh, tripods and skills and perks that we get. Pretty soon we'll be just smoking them like crazy. 
There we go. All right, um, we're gonna jump down here, and I'm probably gonna go ahead and end the stream. We've been going for almost two hours at this point, and uh, yeah, it's starting to uh, get kind of warm in here, so we're gonna go ahead and end it. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the stream, though. I definitely want to do quite a few streams on this account, trying to get this great one before level 60. Uh, cause obviously it would be quite a lot of videos if we did it all in videos, so there will be quite a few streams in this series. But, uh, yeah, it's been fun so far and I'm really looking forward to seeing if we can complete this. Oh gosh, that's not good, KC. That's not good. I've had that happen before, too. Uh, but yeah, I will, uh, see you guys, uh, tomorrow. We will have another live stream, but, uh, yeah, until then... Hope you all enjoy the stream, and I will uh, see you all in the next one.